Before I go, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. Today we are going to find out what's coming up for you in the month of March uh, this year, 2022. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, Virgo, spirits and angels, please show me what's coming up for Virgo in the month of March this month, 2022. Show me more. Hi, persistent one first. I see somebody planning to return to you, okay? Um, or having decided with Ace of Pentacles, knowing and understanding that you are the one for them and you're precious, you're unique, you're different from the rest. Ten of Cups here, seeing a future with you and the star, you are their star. You, are, you have always been that one person whom they could be wishing for. Um, but the Ten of Swords is here, right? So that means, Virgo, either you could have ended some things, okay? It may, it may not be a, like a permanent ending. Ten of Swords is a minor kind of, so it could be like a little bit of a setback or maybe one of you could be taking a break, could be just a pause in a relationship or could be going through some issues, yeah, Ten of Swords. And with the Nine of Wands here, I see a fire sign here, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, chasing after you, after you may have made a decision to either walk away or take a break, or if they've hurt you in the past with the Ten of Swords here, or they will be hurting you sometime, sometime in the near future. But I don't see it like it's a really bad thing at all, Virgo, to be honest, because we've got the Ten of Cups here. So this person is going to at first, or it could be you, Virgo, you could be thinking that, okay, maybe this connection is over and done with, but actually it's not over <laughs> yet, okay? I feel like both of you are going to reconcile Ten of Cups here. For some of you, Virgo, it may be something small, okay? Something small, some altercation, disagreement, somebody's feelings got hurt. It doesn't always have to be Ten of Swords, like, um, like a really bad ending. It really depends on the surrounding cards, right? But what I'm seeing here right now with the Ten of Cups right here and the star, I sense that um, your person, okay? Unless the, the roles are being reversed here, your person is going to realize Okay, only after they're feeling kind of hurt because maybe you could have made a decision or again, if you're going away, it could be anything, yeah? But I feel like there's somebody coming in here, Ten of Cups. They finally see you as they are happily ever after. They finally see you very clearly because the thing is, Ten of Cups, the star and the Ace of Pentacles, look, they look really bright to me. So it's like being able to see brightly, clearly that you are the one that they want to spend the rest of their life with okay and again you are one of a kind virgo so i sense them trying to sneak their way back in or trying to plan something with you okay and with the five of swords here in reverse trying to end any sorts of conflict between the two of you six of pentacles in reverse if they have somebody else other options i see them letting go of that i see them not wanting to play game play games anymore and the four of cups in reverse this person is going to see you as a missed opportunity okay and with ace of pentacles here for some of you in the month of march uh, i do sense you either starting something new it could be a new adventure a new endeavor a new job or a new career um or being offered an opportunity to collaborate with somebody okay but it could also indicate a new beginning, a beginning of a very committed relationship for a lot of you. And the Seven of Swords here, it feels like somebody may have, you know, someone who may have thought that maybe this is not it, this is not the relationship for them, but it's going to change their mind, okay? And will try to return, try to, because Seven of Swords may not always mean lying or cheating. I just feel like it has more to do with this person now is trying to like return and sneak their way back in, change um, change some things. I feel like they have, they're changing their mind, okay? Someone is changing, will be changing their mind in regards to you in, in this month. And uh, it's a good change because they actually see you now or will be seeing you as the one that they 
um, would like to be with long term and are very passionate about you, they desire you, I sense they will do whatever it takes. Yeah, I sense them doing whatever it takes to either chase after you or um, end the conflict between two of you because it feels like someone is finally, you know, ready. Okay, this energy of somebody feeling ready and is going for it. Okay, someone is gonna go for it when it comes to you, or it could be you going after somebody. Again, roles can be reversed. Let's see more for a go. See, Ace of Cups. Sorry for my ugly nails. <laughs> I'm at Trinidad and Tobago and I, I don't know where I can get my nails done. And uh, But anyway, never mind. Uh, we've got the High Priestess here in reverse, Five of Wands, and also we've got the Ace of Cups here. A new beginning in love. Uh, Virgo, again, in March, someone is going to see you very clearly, all that you are going to see very clearly in regards to someone that they are the one, definitely they are the one for you or... You know, again, it could go vice versa, but five of wands, maybe at one point in time, there could have been some conflict between conflict between two of you, arguments, or you know, or somebody could be feeling conflicted in regards to you. But I see in March, your person, if you have somebody, if you don't, if you are completely single, I see you meeting somebody, okay? And this person is gonna be very attracted to you. They want you, they see you as somebody very unique. Um I feel like they're very positive, they have very positive feelings about you. I see both of you being in a long-term relationship, okay? In March, a lot of you might get into a new relationship if you are single. And for some of you, Virgo, if you have been connected with someone and that could have been hurt and pain arguments or, you know, breakups, uh, because it may look a little bit complicated here with the Five of Wands and the Ten of Swords here. If that's the case, I feel like it's... Um, the conflict will end yeah i see somebody making an effort because now they can see the big picture now they see the whole of you now they know who you are and um they're determined to either end the conflict again or reconcile with you or make some changes okay they're gonna try and return to you if both of you are separated judgment here is in one first seven of cups in one first i feel like someone is going to see something very clearly again making a very uh i would say it's a firm decision um in regards to wanting to be with you okay but the judgment reverse also uh, maybe your person is going to realize as well that they may have been unfair to you. They may have made a bad judgment call in the past, whether it's to argue with you or being mean to you, or if they were to put you in a third party situation or lying or cheating, can be anything. Yeah, may not always mean lying and cheating all the time, but five of wands indicates alter altercation, drama, you know, can be anything, but something that is not peaceful okay within your connection here so the high priestess here is on my first high priestess in my first i do read it as a paranoia energy as well like somebody thinks you know sometimes our gut feelings can be wrong because it could be because of paranoia so you have to be very careful okay with your gut feelings i know that happens to me <laughs> all the time so that's why i have to be very careful um to you ha um maybe singles to you yeah maybe you have to be very careful to um separate the your intuition and you know or phobia or paranoia <laughs> just feeling paranoid but oh, i'm sorry very well i'm just getting distracted i don't know why every morning i don't know why people use these grass cutters that are so so loud as if they are like doing some construction work somebody should should uh invent like a grass cutter that is not loud like this. It's crazy. It really, really annoys me. Sorry. But, <laughs> Virgo, let's see more, okay? Yeah, for some of you, if you're single, Nine of Pentacles in March, you, if you are open, okay, to exploring with the Page of Wands here, being adventurous, or it could be traveling, going places, just going out, doing something, I feel like you um, are going to meet someone, okay? This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. 
But the world here is M1 first. For those of you, if you've been stuck、um, with some travel plans,、um, if you've if you plan to travel and you you've been kind of stuck at one place, you can travel. I don't know some sort of delay here. I feel like with the world M1 first and the page of ones,、um, you I. Feel like some of you be traveling yeah in March or planning to travel and being able to see that you can travel yeah and、uh, let's see more Virgo yeah the death card is here so you put an end to a lot of things from your past it's a new beginning for a lot of you in March you're beginning something new okay for some of you it's traveling for some of you it's getting into a relationship. And for some of you, it's getting married. Ten of Cups can indicate marriage, and for some of you, the Sun and Ace of Cups can indicate pregnancy as well. So a lot of exciting things happening for each and every one of you, Virgo,、uh, in the month of March here. And we've got the Four Wands. So Four Wands again can indicate a marriage. Okay, I feel like Virgo. Some of you, it takes an ending for one person to know that you are the one that you that they want. Okay, whether it's an Ending, or whether it's you making some changes within yourself, or it could be a break, you know, or somebody just changing their mind. Okay, I feel like somebody's heart is being transformed here as well. Virgo, again, it could be you or the person whom you could be dealing with. I see if this is some the person you're dealing with right now.、Uh, I see them really seeing a future with you. Okay, they see being with you is stable for once here. They feel like、um, living with you. If if both of you not living with each other right now, they would like to live with you. If you've been living with each other for a while and you're kind of like sussing each other out, because it's very important, it's very crucial in a relationship to be able to get along with somebody whom you live with, right? Whether it's habits or、uh, you know, if somebody is very very dirty or very untidy, that could be a deal breaker for some, right? So I feel like for some of you, Virgo, if you've been living in The same house, been you know just trying living in the same house with somebody, with your person, and you start to kind of be able to gauge, or that they could be able to gauge you as well, both of you. Like, hey, actually, this is not bad. I can I can live with this. Yeah, maybe because Virgo, you are somebody very tidy, or maybe you could have cooked, or you know. And if you don't give any issues to your person, and your person doesn't either, I mean, it's like a test in a way. I feel like Virgo, at the end of the day, you pass the test, okay? Or somebody may pass the test. So it could be both of you, okay? Because four of wands it feels kind of mutual, but five of wands here and the ten of swords, I feel like the beginning part may have been a little bit、uh, tricky. Yeah, I guess that's that. Period where there's some sort of adjustments that both of you need to make, okay, with each other. If you have someone, again, Virgo, if you're single, I do see you getting in a, into a relationship for once. And for some of you, Nine Pentacles next to four ones could be you moving a moving to a different house or buying a new house, okay, or moving to a different country with a page of ones here. Yeah, I definitely see that a lot of beautiful things and exciting things that are gonna happen to you in the month of March. It's already first of March here,、um, Virgo. I see you being really happy. The sun. If you are traveling abroad, I see you、uh, feeling really happy. You're gonna be happy traveling. You're gonna be very happy being in that country. And、um, ten of cups here. Maybe you'll meet. Like a group of friends, okay. It could be new friends where it feels like more like a family unit, okay. The Seven of Cups can indicate family, but、uh, at the same time, I kind of feel like these could be like you know, you, you you can be family with your friends too, or people like-minded people. I see that Ten of Cups and the Star be getting a lot of attention as well. I feel like the Star can indicate also you winning something or. People are noticing you. It could be work. It could be friends. It could be um, uh, it could be your followers if you have any followers on your social media or if you're a YouTuber.、Uh, the star definitely you're getting a lot of attention, and also the star for me indicates you winning something as well, achieving something, achieving a certain goal. It could be a small milestone or it could be a big goal. You know, for each and every one of you, it's a little bit different. But I feel like with the star, definitely achieving something big, yeah, 
Virgo uh, and being recognized for it too okay and again the Sun and the Ace of Cups for some of you maybe you are going to get pregnant or could be considering adopting a child or could be adopting a pet as well okay a dog a cat could be any any animals so cute but <laughs> I'm seeing llama I just hope llama <laughs> Maybe it's not a llama. I don't know that. So I suddenly I saw a llama's face in my head. Uh, for some of you, maybe adopting like it may not be llama. Maybe it could be a different type of animal that's not that usual. Okay, not usual pet. But some of you, I see you adopting uh, a cat, a dog, um, or it could be going horse riding or going to events. Or certain activities where you can be close to animals okay that you can touch the animals could be goats um, maybe I saw a goat but I thought it was a llama I don't know <laughs> but, <laughs> Virgo um, but anyway just take what resonates with you okay Virgo and let's see a little bit more four of pentacles and reverse five of cups and reverse some of you be spending some money yeah, Virgo you could be spending some money either it's moving buying a house or traveling um, or starting something new okay even if you're having a baby you're getting pregnant uh, for some of you it's you giving birth as well it takes money yeah to have a child I always talk about that it's very expensive to have a child and children depends how how you look at it right but anyway five of cups in reverse starting to feel more hopeful uh, even with a page of cups here and reverse i feel like virgo you are going to grow up <laughs> that's what i'm getting here for the younger virgos okay if you are 16 17 18 just about to you know um sort of like getting ready getting ready to go on your own whether to study or to buy your own place um, whatever the case is I see you growing up okay that's the death card right next to the page of cups here so it feels like it's the end of like um, for some of you end of one phase in your life where you were younger uh, or the things that you used to do for example if you uh, some of you could be you have been studying but then now you graduate to becoming somebody who works okay for a company or owns your own business so something like that this type of phases okay and if you have always been living with your parents I see you changing that as well I see in March some of you it's you moving out of your parents house um, or it could be for some of you, you know, just traveling, doing something different, being really independent. I know Pentacles, if you've always been kind of relying on somebody or on your parents to, you know, live your life, I feel like that's that's the end of um, that phase is ending as well. I see you making your own money with the Nine of Pentacles here. And again, for some of you, Virgo, if you're single, I don't see you being single for too long. I see you meeting somebody while you're traveling or while you are studying, okay, if you're still studying. Um, yeah, man, of course, good news here for those of you getting pregnant, gotten pregnant, or giving birth to a baby. I feel, uh, congratulations in advance and with the ten of cups here the star i feel like virgo much is everything that we've always been wishing for okay for it to happen but of course it takes endings your ten of swords and death card it takes some fighting to do five of ones like it just doesn't come easy i feel a lot of you have been preparing for it working for it working really hard for it um and then finally you can kind of like rest a little bit i feel like there'll be work you'll be working but then you'll be also resting a bit you'll be it, it feels very balanced to me okay virgo very balanced as in you you'll be working but then you also be, maybe some of you also be traveling and going on a holiday um it's like a very well balanced um fulfilled march <laughs> march for you okay so far i see and i see somebody also could be proposing to you again ace of pentacles to get into a committed relationship or to move in together to get married all right Virgo, this is your reading i hope you resonated this is a very long reading it's been 19 minutes already <laughs> But I'm just excited for you guys for the month of March. It's already March. So um, I'm going to leave you with a video on the screen right now. If you haven't seen it, it's my latest video from my second travel vlog channel. 
I met Trinidad and Tobago and I went to the Margaret's Beach. I had a lot of fun. Check it out if you want to. If not, it's fine too. And also, I am going to leave you with a playlist on the screen. This playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics and different questions, but they're all very, very new because as you guys know, Virgo, I post your videos almost every single day. So these videos are still valid, okay? And Virgo, I am open for personal readings. If you would like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And if you like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. All right, take care, Virgo. Bye.